So you're vacationing in Zambia, huh? Mm-hmm. Let me guess, you're from L.A.? New York. Yes. I take it Mr. Conrad won't be joining us. A lot of people come here to get lost so they can be found again. Thank you, Yoda. All right, so this is a pretty adventurous movie for you guys. What was it like being in Africa and working with all the animals? Well, elephant conservation is her passion. She's spent you know, her entire life sort of boots on the ground dealing with this. So uh, to, to, to really do a movie in Africa, in the real place, with the real uh, animals was just was awesome. It was great to support this one's cause. Thank you, baby. It, for me, <laughs> he's right. It is my cause. It took years to get this film made. To actually be there, you know, I had to continually pinch myself. Is this actually happening? Are we finally making it? We're actually making it the right ethical way with the elephants and honoring, respecting them. And everyone really rose to the occasion. And it was such an intense adventure. And then it's, it's hard. It's, 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 it was intense. It's, it's hard and it's, it's to work with real wild animals is difficult, dangerous, and expensive. And, and very, very few productions do, and we were able to do it, and that's the thing that made it really exciting and, and, and unique for me. And I do believe it's the way that we need to go. You know, people are more aware now about, about elephants and animals in general and what is correct and incorrect. And I think that Netflix really stepped up with the money for us to be able to do it correctly, and our crew really stepped up to be willing to abide by all the rules that the people who actually take care of the elephants set out, which we did, for their safety but also for the human safety. You know, you have to be really careful with everyone. But I also felt, I mean, as we said earlier, I'm weirdly giddy through the whole film. So for me, I'm just so excited to be around the elephants, which is how I feel anyway, whether cameras are rolling or not. But to be able to actually have him there and his son Johnny and, you know, be enacting this story that's so close to my life in so many ways was just a dream. Yeah. Is that something that you kind of hope just comes through the movie to the audience is like that? passion and absolutely um, and the message care for the animals yeah, the yeah. Message and also the beauty I mean that was the thing when I finally saw the the final mix it's so gorgeous to look at and I I wish everyone could go and I know it's not really feasible for everybody to go but it's so beautiful our, our planet is so beautiful and there's so many beautiful places that you might not get to go to and I wanted to bring that to people and I feel like we do Definitely. Yeah. yeah. So your character kind of goes through a pretty huge shift in life. Yes. Um, what would you say to someone maybe who's kind of going through that Ooh. transition? I would say keep the faith. Keep the faith and try to stay open. I mean, it's hard because I, I know it's got to be a horrible shock for people. And luckily for Kate, my character, she already has these plane tickets, so she has kind of a... Uh, a push to, to go out there in the world, and I think you just don't know what's coming. You never know when a bush pilot handsome, will, handsome, will, will handsome make his way pilot. into your life. It's you, it true. It happen at it any be point. in five minutes. And you know. need to be paying attention. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to miss out. You don't want to miss out at all. Definitely not. <laughs> You're falling in love. Huh? With Africa. You know what that is? What? Mistletoe. That is definitely not mistletoe. That is African mistletoe. <laughs>